guys, welcome back to the Detail Garage. So today I have this Buick in and we are going to show you how to clean and protect your bumpers, your chrome bumpers. We've already washed the car. Nick did a full wash and cleaned the white walls. But as you can see, this chrome portion of the car really is a huge piece and it really takes away from the beauty of the paint and the car itself. So we're going to polish this, clean it up and use our light metal polish to do so. We have two different metal polishes. We have a heavy metal and a light metal. The heavy metal has a little bit more abrasive in it. So for something that's really oxidized and tarnished, you want to use something more abrasive. But the go to method is to make sure you go with the least abrasive and then work your way up. Also, before you get started, you want to make sure that you test a small area because you're not sure what kind of metal it is, how it's going to react, or what you really need. So before you start with anything, we always recommend to do a test spot. We've done the test spot, so I know that light metal polish actually takes out a lot of this oxidation, and I don't need to move up to the heavy metal. However, if it didn't come out, I would move over to heavy metal and try it out that way. But since I know light metal polish is going to work, I'm, I taped down the center so that I could show you a true before and after. And as you can see, it's very oxidized. Uh, the, the metal is just not looking as bright as it should and as soon as we do this you're going to see that the whole car looks completely different. So we have light metal polish and I'm going to simply do it with an applicator. It's very easy to do by hand. I don't need to use a machine. I don't need to pull out a drill. It actually just takes it right out with just using my elbow grease. And I also have a towel so that I can wipe away and show it to you. So I'm going to test it on this area so you can see how easy it is to do just by hand and using light metal polish. Now you always want to shake up the bottle and you don't need to put too much, just put a line or two on the top because obviously I'm not going to use the whole applicator on it. And as you can see, I'm just working in a side to side motion and I'm barely putting any pressure. I'm not using a whole ton of pressure. As you can see, I'm just gliding over it. I'm letting the product do the work for me. And as you can see, a little bit of product goes a long way. I only used two small lines on the top. So you want to work the product in. And the light metal polish is safe for these polished aluminum chrome pieces and it has very light abrasives. It's more like a metal wax uh, to say, but it also helps to remove move this. So now I'm just using my towel. I fold it in fours and I'm just wiping away the product so I can show you the results that I already got just by doing one quick pass with metal polish. And now you can see how, I mean, even from just here, Without looking at the after side, just this small area I didn't get, look at the huge difference that it gave. So I'm going to continue to do the rest of this. And like I said, very you just need two lines of the product and you don't have to use too much pressure. It's actually just working itself in. And this car has been sitting for a while. Uh, it was dirty, so you can see if the video before, if you click the link below, you'll be able to see how we washed it and how it looked before. It looks beautiful now. So it sat for a while in a garage, hasn't been touched for quite some time. So this metal really needed some work. So light metal polish can be used on chrome, stainless steel, aluminum. Uh, but like I said, always test on a small area because sometimes you don't even know what's on your car. So you want to make sure to test it and see if light metal polish will work and then move up to a heavy metal if needed. If you're not sure what the finish is, you can always contact your car manufacturers, uh, whoever you purchased it from, and they can help you out and let you know what it is. But usually a light metal polish, because it is a wax, it's like a wax with abrasives, with minor abrasives, it should be fine. But like I said, testing a small area is always recommended. And we did that on the bumper before we started, and we taped it off so that you can see the clear before and after and see how easy it is to remove it. Sometimes it's difficult to remember what it looked like after it already looks so nice. So that's why I wanted you to be able to see what we really did. So I'm getting through this part of the bumper and there's these pieces here that are a little bit hard to reach with my applicator. So you can always just grab a towel, make sure it's a soft microfiber towel. I'm using our gray workhorse because we use gray for any metals. Uh, you want to make sure to not cross-contaminate any of your towels. So that's another tip for you on detailing is 
if I'm using these tiles on the chrome, I don't want to use them on the paint, just as well as I don't want to use the ones that I'm using for my wheels on the paint either. So you want to make sure to separate them when you're using them and also when you're washing. So I'm just going to use a little bit on the towel and get in there so that I can get in between these pieces and not miss those as well while I'm polishing. And just with the work of one finger, it's coming out completely. So I finished this half of the bumper and the before and after results are pretty amazing. As you can see, it removed years of oxidation that has been sitting on this bumper for so long. And as you can see before, this oxidation isn't easily removed just by touching it or using a towel. We actually had to use a light metal polish that's not only gonna remove the years of oxidation, but also protect it and make it look shiny and new again. Now, the light metal polish does have wax in it, so it's going to protect it as well as being a very light abrasive to remove those years of oxidation and bring it back to life. And as you can see already with just this finish of half of the bumper, it already brings out everything else in the car. So you don't want something like such a beautiful piece of the car to bring down the look and make it dull. So I'm gonna take off the tape down the middle so you can see even better the before and after results and the clear line in between what it looks like because it's hard to remember even though you see this oxidation, it's pretty amazing. And I didn't use, like I said, it was very light pressure. I let the product do the work and I didn't have to use very much product to get such a big bumper uh, clean again. So I'm gonna finish the whole car uh, and show you guys how good we can get this back looking. If you like this video and you can see the before and after, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe and we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.